So as the next step, if we wanted to create Java doc, uh, we can also do that in the class diagram. Um, so here it is. Um, let's say we want to create something for the web, uh, then we need to show its properties again. So where were the properties here? And then under documentation, we can put in the documentation. So here, yeah. This class represents a complete web uh, representation. That's what the tutorial says, okay. Um, now, what happens when we put this here, uh, then this was in the class diagram. Uh, let's save it and then let's see what happens in the eCore uh, model where we have the web. Uh, we see that here there is some annotation and this annotation has the key documentation and the value of the documentation that we actually added. So this is a generic way of representing it inside the eCore model. Um, and if we, let's see, so right now we didn't regenerate any code. So let's see what happened here in our code with this web. Uh, it's a default uh, Java doc. Now uh, let's see what happens when we generate the model code again and hover over web, then we see uh, that our documentation part is added here as part of the Java doc uh, of this of this interface. So it also goes from the uh, class diagram into the eco model and then also in the in the generated code. And in the generated code, we would probably find it here. Um, yeah, right there. It's generated into the Java doc. 